Hi and welcome to Pavement Layers. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to include pictures of repair paving zones, seal coating zones, whatever you may choose to put on the screen and how to include that into a proposal. So the first thing that would happen is if you pulled into this parking lot and they were requesting a bid, I'm going to simulate to say that we happen to uh, notice a couple things that need to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out some mill and fill. This entire drive line right here needs to be milled and filled. And I'm going to go ahead down here and click lock and we'll call this mill repair two inches. And again, you can call it anything you want and you have the ability to tap these buttons, labels, and move them around a little bit just so it uh, looks a little nicer. And you kind of get the idea that I can be as exact as I want. I could use color coding as well as the labels to show what these areas are. Let's call this mill repair as well. And you get the idea. Let's move that up just a little bit and all I do is tap it and move it. So now we have two mill repair areas in this parking lot. Let's go ahead and do a, uh, a base repair. We could be as exact as we want once again. And let's make this a six inch base repair. And I would say let's pick this in blue. We're going to go up here to our color. Tap this make it blue. Come down here. Tap this and make this uh, an 8 inch base repair. So now you just created something and let's take this base re repair and move this up a little bit. We just created something that we can sit right now and talk to a client with or we can take this and upload it. I need to create the proposal first in Pavement Layers or the job site. So I'd go into Pavement Layers as option one. And before I do all of this, I would go into Pavement Layers and create this project name. Or I can go up here to save. And I'm going to save this project as Ford um, Sharonville. So what's nice now is then I have to click done. You got to remember to click done after you save it. So at any point now, now I am done with, I can click the back button. I'm done with this. I can, I can come down here and hit the garbage can and delete everything. And at any point in time, if I ever want to see this again, two days from now, an hour from now, I click load. I tap on this and I say yes. And now it shows me everything and it stores it all. So here's what we can do now. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to upload it into a proposal. The first thing we want to do, however, is let's go to pavementlayers.com and we're going to create, add a proposal to an existing client. The client's name is Ford Motor Company. And we've done this in the other proposals. I'll add a proposal. We'll call this the West Parking Lot. Everyone makes mistakes. Again, you have to put the right address in in order to be assured that the driving directions are correct on the work orders. We then click Next. And based on our images, we have 670 yards of mill repair. Let's go to Asphalt Milling. Click Next. 670 for the milling repair. Square yards. Two inch depth. And we'll call that 18,740 and we'll go ahead and click finish which will add that in 
you'll see how it puts it right here in pavement proposals. And we also have to do a repair, a base repair, we'll call it excavation. And it's going to be 170 yards. Excavation depth is 8 inches. Base depth will go with 6 inches of base and 2 inches of surface. And we'll give it a 3-year warranty. And we'll say that that's worth uh, uh, $9,700. And again, all of these specs, are we going to do edge sealing? Sure, we're going to do it. And we'll go ahead and finish this one as well. Right now you'll see how we'll have our two areas of repair. It's for the west parking lot at Ford Motor Company, where you can see both of them. So now if we can, let's go out. I'm going to slide the screen over to look at an iPad again. Let's take this iPad and full screen it. Now once we're ready and prepared, I can take this and upload this picture or as many pictures as I like, as close as I like, or any arrangements that I like into pavement layers. So we're going to go ahead and do this live now. And it's best to get a nice image. You want to get rid of this measuring tool. Just come on down here, tap this, open it up, and you're going to see here how I can turn this on and off. Turn that off. And then we'll pop back out of here. Tap on pavement layers. Let's call this repair zones. Your username and password, you only have to fill this out one time. Now for the client, I have many of them in here. Let's figure out who the client is. Ford Motor Company. And the proposal name is down here. You'll see West Parking Lot Repair. It automatically saves it. Now you're going to want to send send image to pavement layers. Tap the button once and it uploaded the picture directly into pavement layers. So this time again we will look at pavement layers now in real time. If we just click refresh we now will see that at the bottom of the screen scroll down we don't need proposal settings but go to your proposal images. Now you'll see uploaded immediately in less than about a minute we have this picture of all the repairs. This is how you add an image. Where do we want the image? Let's put it in the proposal. We can also put it in the work order. If you want to add notes to the image, click here. Add any note you want. Anything you'd say, click finish. Now the key thing is, it's really important to understand that after the image is done, you want to say upload or update the image. Now it's into the proposal. Now let's take a look at this proposal we created. In a matter of seconds, we have our cover page with the company name and the contact name. We have the project location. We have all of your inf the service information. We have defined specifications. And if you have any questions on this, you can look at how to create a proposal. We have our breakdown, our pricing, right here. Now you'll see how an image comes into pavement layers. Now you have a, your logo on the top right. Your heading here can be changed. It shows you all the areas. This also goes into a work order, and here's your notes that you like. That's how you upload one or many images into pavement layers. Thank you, and have a great day.